So, magic pen. Magic pen, here's the icon of the magic pen, does a lot of great things. So first thing we're going to do is look for my first pen option. Look for the first black triangle. Drop down and we're going to go ahead and select magic pen. So we're going to look for the icon with the stars around the pen. Select on magic pen. Let's try it. Magic pen. Um, you can choose a color, different color for magic pen. It defaults on blue. So I'll keep it on blue. And I can say magic pen if I wrote Hello. Something fancy is going to happen in around six seconds where it will start to, there you go, fade. So that is your fading for Magic Pen. So that's one thing. If you just write with Magic Pen, you get fading, fading ink. If I make a circle with my Magic Pen, it turns into a spotlight. So what I can do with this is I can move my spotlight all over the place. Today we are going to be learning about magic pen. Or I can use it for math. What is 21 divided by 3? Student can come to the board, search 21 divided by 3 is 7. What is 2 times 4? Search, 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 search. Oh, it's 8. Very good. I can also manipulate what this uh, spotlight looks like. So you'll notice if I go right over the line, I get this double arrow and I can pull my spotlight to make oval. So I can say, okay, today we're going to be learning about magic pen. Or if I want to make my circle bigger, boop. Okay. Any way that you want to shape this magic pen, you can. So that is circle to make a spotlight. The last thing you can do with this magic pen is if you draw a square or a rectangle and it turns it into a magnifying glass so you'll see this ma magnifying glass right under the image I can say magic pen there it is sorry my hands not the most stable and same thing just like the spotlight if you want to make the magic pen um, the mag blah, blah, blah. magnifying glass bigger smaller whatever it is just drag out um, one of the edges of the magnifying glass. Okay, so we have magic pen. If I click on this magnifying glass, I can zoom in or zoom out. So if you really want to get in and see something really tiny, this uh, magnifying glass can help you zoom in to an object. Okay, but I can move it around. I can say, okay, let's learn about Mona Lisa's smile. What makes it so captivating? Okay. Another way that I've used this magnifying glass is when we were learning to um, sing songs and my students need to learn the verses, uh, I would have all the verses up and then just use the magnifying glass to magnify certain verses just so the students can see it. So I love this magnifying glass. All right, so there's three things that this magic pen does. One is write to turn into fading ink. The second one is circle for spotlight, and the third one is square or rectangle for uh, magnifying glass. Now, the problem that you're going to have with fading ink is if you wrote the word notes, for instance, and I wrote N-O-T-O, -O, you notice my O turned into a spotlight, and that's not what we want. Can you imagine if I wrote, wrote the word hello, H-E-L-L, -L, and then the O turned into a, um, a spotlight? That wouldn't look too good on the board. So, magic pen, you have to either put curly cues on the O's or write in cursive. Sorry, my um, cursive is not the best. Notes, that's why I wrote hello in cursive. You can always just put curly cues on your O's if I wrote notes again N O T E S okay. there's also another way to turn a regular pen into fading ink so if you want to learn how to turn your regular pen into fading ink and not have to worry about writing in cursive or using curly cues look for my other um, lesson on fading ink pens